Hey there, everybody. Welcome, welcome. You are in gentle yoga. This is Becky. Welcome, welcome. We'll get this all set up and get started here in just a minute or two. I so appreciate that you're here today. This is awesome. And unfortunately, what we have to do is mute this recording. We'd love to be able to catch up with all of you. You're so darling to join today. Um, but what that does is it affords you the opportunity to go and get some music if you want. And for today, while well, I adjust this camera, you are going to need a towel. You are going to need a towel today. And I would recommend either a beach towel or a standard bath towel. You can use a yoga strap, but we're gonna use a little cushion. So you will need a towel. Go take a minute and go get a towel. Yeah, hi guys. This is Becky and you've read it in the right place. You need either a bath towel, a, a beach towel, or, and, and, or, you can use a strap, a belt, a scarf, Go get yourself a towel, okay? And I'm gonna get this camera set up here real quick. So glad that you can be here. Oh, you guys just make my whole week. You have no idea. And if you could just give me a quick second or a thumbs up. Can you all see me here seated? Is this working for you? Yes. Thank you, Rivka. Good to see you. And when I stand up, can you still see me? Am I still visible, head and arms? Okay, I appreciate that. I've got some new adjustments with my setup here and I wanna make sure that you can hear me. So appreciate you being here. If you didn't hear, we are just getting a towel. And the way we're gonna use this today is you may wanna fold it and then, you know, the skinniest end, just roll it up a little bit. You know, make this into like a, burrito or a tacarito and into a nice skinny roll there. We're actually going to use this to start our practice today. So set that on your mat and I'll show you how we're going to use it. Let me just preface this. For those of you who might be new to my gentle yoga class, of course I so applaud you for being here. Times are tough and stress is everywhere, right? So while you're rolling up your towel, just keep in mind that this is your practice today. I will give you suggestions. Go with where your body and your breath allow you to go. That's the most important thing. We go in a sequence with a progression. So if you need to back up, back up. And by all means, if I'm not making it as big or grand as you need, just remember your bigger range of motion will always make it a little bit more difficult. So you're welcome to do that. So, I'm going to, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to suggest, we're going to lay down on this little tacarito roll, bend your knees, and get this, support your head, but get this nice little roll situated right at the base, at the bottom of your shoulder blades, right at the bottom of your shoulder blades. And you'll know right away, if that's too much, when you let your head rest down. If that's too much, then you can unroll one or two rolls and flatten it a little bit, okay? But the idea is today we will start with our breath and breathing and centering right here in this lay position and give your chest an opportunity to open. So the once you've got that situated underneath your shoulder blades, Feet are planted, just play with those arms. Do they feel better overhead or in a goalpost position or down below? The intention here is to give some relief for your back, opening for your heart center and all those tight muscles in your chest and shoulders. I don't know about you guys, but I'm spending a lot of time hunched over my desk, my yard. And while you rest here, allow that breath to grow deep. Let's just inhale deeply right here. 
and a big exhale, releasing the tension from the day. Another deep inhale and feel your chest open and the shoulders and neck muscles relax. And then exhale deeply, allowing the belly to help push out any stale breath that's in your lungs. Inhale, an equal deep exhale. Breathing into any tight spot you might be feeling. And with that big exhale, allow it to release. Another deep inhale, slower and calmer. And maybe this exhale can even be bigger and longer. Try to relax your neck muscles. Relax your head. Let your knees fall together if that feels best. Know that today you are doing good for your body, your mind, and your heart. Welcome in that positive healing breath. Exhale away, any expectations? There's so many demands on you all day long, every day. You don't need to meet any of those expectations today. Just find your breath. Letting your body get heavier, your chest more open, your breath fuller. In these stressful times, this is one thing you can control. Welcoming in, centering, and balance with deep breath. Now that you've taken a few minutes to let that chest open, a place where we carry a lot of stress, bring those feet in close to your glutes. And we're going to just lift up those hips nice and easy. And maybe you're going to wiggle yourself down and let that roll now come behind the back of your ribs. Behind the back of your ribs. So adjust it, hips up or rolling so that you can feel the back of your ribs pressing into that roll. And we're, we're basically, those of you who work with a roller, I saw your, your name, Stephanie, I know you do. This is a great way to release some of that tension. Inhale deep, good. And exhale, open up those shoulders and round them into the floor. Don't let go of that nice opening you got. Another deep inhale, open up that chest. Exhale, contract that belly. Good. And from here, let's inhale and lift those arms up overhead. And then we'll exhale and press those arms down by your side. Inhale. And notice when you go down, you might want to go out and do a V, skip out that roll. It's okay. Big inhale. And exhale down. Those palms fall open if that feels good. And one more time, bring those feet in real close to those glutes. Inhale, exhale, tuck your pelvis and roll up gently. Let this get to be a little bit bigger bridge this time. And we're gonna scooch that roll right behind your sacrum. So that is below the lumbar curve, but above, above the tailbone. And you can feel that exactly. And from here, we'll inhale, bring one leg up to tabletop, and exhale, set that foot down. Inhale, other leg, and then exhale, set it down. Alternate these up and down, just nice and gentle through that hip joint. Good. 
And from here, you may want to put those feet down and maybe rock a little side to side. You should feel a good massage along the backside of your pelvis, that gluteus medius attachment area. Anybody been working in the yard like crazy? Yeah. I decided I was going to set 3,000 pounds of rock in a new retaining wall. <laughs> okay, right, let's bring it back to center. I'm going to inhale and bring one knee into chest. Rock a little bit. And exhale into this. Just a gentle grasp wherever that feels good. Hopefully what's happening is you're getting a little bit of support through that low back but not collapsing your low back down into the ground. Good, and let's set that down. And the other leg comes up, inhale and exhale and bring it in. A little closer to shoulder, it's okay to go on the diagonal. Good, I see some circles and we'll set that down. Now we'll make that a little bit bigger, but we're gonna take the little roll away that towel keep it handy because you're going to need it in just a couple minutes and let your feet plant and your hips plant good one more time we're going to inhale exhale bring the leg up towards chest and now as you can feel your sacrum making a little more contact here see what you can do to draw in that knee towards your shoulder maybe a couple circles here go the other direction and then let it just fall into a gentle place. And as you do this, inhale, exhale, just slide out that bottom leg. Reach that heel towards the opposite wall. And the same time, drawing in that bent knee, just on the diagonal, just past your shoulder. So you've got energy going in both directions. We've got lots of lunges for you today. So you want to get this hips, this whole hip area ready. Good. Okay, do those ankle circles. Beautiful. And inhale, exhale, we'll draw on that bottom leg, bring that foot down, and we'll switch. The other leg comes in, you can grab above or below, whatever feels good. Couple circles in that hip socket to get it ready. Good. And let it settle in on that diagonal, just past your shoulder. Inhale, exhale, press the bottom leg, slide it out there, heel towards the opposite wall. Think about pressing the thigh down as you pull gently with that knee up in the opposite direction. Ankle circles are always good. I think a lot of you know how I feel about foot health. Foot, ankle, lower leg, oh yes. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and set that knee down, set that foot down with that knee, draw on the other knee, and we'll let these just rock a little side to side. Hands down in a V or open into a T. Good. And as you do this, let those feet wander to the wide side of your mat. And let them just windshield wipe one direction. So feet are wide. Knees like wipers go over to one side and linger there. And take energy through your fingertips so your shoulders can still roll into the floor. Yep. This outside hip is probably going to lift and that's okay. Cueing that top leg, the knee down towards the ground. If you want a little extra, you'll pick up the bottom heel, let it rest on top of that outer thigh. Completely up to you if you want that kind of pressure, but this is wonderful. Hikers, runner, runners, bikers, walkers, your IT band gets really tight. This is a great release. Good. Inhale, exhale, and undo. Feet are still wide. Just wipe those knees over to the other side. Energy through your fingertips. Oh, it's so good to see you. Let that outside that top hip lift it's okay if you want extra you may not but that bottom heel can rest on top of the outer thigh on top yes it's up to you you're always welcome to look away and finish your twist up through that cervical spine beautiful and 
Let's undo. Bring those feet back in parallel position. I'm gonna cross one leg over and start a pigeon or a hip opener. You know, this is a plenty big hip opener. Some of you find this difficult and that's completely fine. If you want more, that next layer is just to bring up the bottom foot. And I see a bunch of you doing that as well. And then adding on additional layer would be to reach through and grab on. Now, as you grab, that thread it through, behind the thigh or in front of the shin is a little bit bigger. Just a quick check though, that your tailbone has not completely risen up. If your tailbone is up and I can't get a great size little marble ball underneath your low back, regroup and maybe layer down a little bit. Yeah, because we want the energy with the pelvis rocking away while you pull the legs in. Does that make sense? Little mouse right under your, under your low back the size of a grape. Perfect. Let's release. Set it down and we'll cross over with the other leg. And remember, one side does not have to be equal to the other. There's no scorecard in yoga. Yeah, and you choose. You want to bring it up, thread it through, grasp or not. And when you thread it through, if you have lifted this up, check. Yeah, without squishing the grape, can we get a little grape underneath your low back? Yes, cueing that tilt, the pelvic tilt. So the tailbone is working away. Legs are working towards you, increases that stretch just a little bit. Ah, oh, you look so beautiful. All right, and let's undo. Excellent, shake out those legs. Beautiful, and from here, we're gonna tuck just for today. Some of you remember Pilates? Well, we're not gonna do all this Pilates stuff, but we're gonna tuck, 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 chin, chin, chin. If you can't grab around the fronts, just grab into your thighs, do the best that you can, find your breath, knees towards forehead, uh-huh, and then believe it or not, I ask you to start to roll this. Now, if you are not comfortable rolling, although it's hugely beneficial for the backside, all those muscles up and down your spine, you don't have to roll. We're gonna come up to a seated position and there's no special anything other than to iron out those muscles and bring yourself up after about six of those. Get at least six of those rolls in. And I love what it does for your core strengthening. Yes, you have to accelerate and decelerate with your abdominal core wall. You've got it, abdominals and core wall. So let's grab that towel or a yoga strap. We're gonna change this up a little bit. Some of you know that a, a portion of this routine, you probably think you know all of it. So whether you've got a strap or a, a belt or a scarf, we're gonna start those hands just past shoulder height and bring them up overhead. Ah, and relax your shoulders down. And as you do this, we'll let this arm, set of arms just drift backwards a little bit. And if you wanna let your hands slide out, so let it drift back, that's fine. Let's inhale, bring it up, and exhale, try again. Maybe they'll be able to go a little lower. If you need to bend your elbows, go right ahead. And opening gently to the rear. Now this is a big one to start off with. And I realize that. And as you do it, make sure you're not going too far and you're not trying to compensate. When, you have, when I say by compensating, sometimes the knees come up. <laughs> Shrug forward. Believe me, I've been there. Inhale up. And this time, let's take it on over to the right side. And as you do this, the left arm is tall to the sky. And pull back with that right arm into an L. Yeah, pull it back into an L. So you're opening up then the right front side of that shoulder. Let's inhale through the center. And then bring it over to the left and let the left arm drift back into an L. Does that make sense? I think it does from those beautiful pictures I can see. Good, inhale to your center and over to the right again. Pull that right arm back. Excellent, inhale up. Pull the left arm back, make an L. 
kind of hard to see when I got it this way. One more time each side, a little bit slower, right? To the rear. Kind of bring it up. Left. Into the rear. Good. Now we'll let this come up to the top. And I see that my hands have drifted away. So I'm going to bring it back up to the top. To rear with both arms again if you can. Inhale up to the center and exhale in front. Now, I know some of you, where's Jim? Inhale to the top and exhale to the rear. As you go back and forth, you may not have the shoulder rotation to go all the way up and over and all the way forward. And we're not trying to force any movement today, right? That would move you into pain. Don't do that. Just want you to find a little bit extra opening that you might that you might not do on your own. <laughs> Talking to myself here. One more time to the back, one more time to the front. Excellent. And release it down. Okay, we're gonna take that towel or strap or scarf with the right arm and drop it behind and then grab underneath with the left arm and inch those fingers to each other. If you can touch your fingers together, you don't need a strap or a towel or a scarf. Do think about sitting up tall. And one more time, that right elbow, we have on top, reach that right elbow up to the sky. Awesome, and feel that beautiful opening on that left front shoulder, nice. Now let go of the bottom, let's switch on top. Left arm on top, right arm underneath. Good, grasp, inch, inch, inch those fingers towards each other. And again, sitting up tall, reach that left elbow up to the sky if you can. Uh, breathe into it. Don't move into pain, but meet each of these poses with breath. Beautiful. Let's let go the bottom first, and we'll set this off to the side. And yes, can you guess we're going to use this later for our pigeon? You got it. Let's come on over, all fours. Excellent. Now for today, I'm going to suggest when you go into all fours that you take a wider stance and just a little bit on the outside of the shoulder and then dial those pinky fingers open. Just dial this open just a little bit. So it's a little bit wider cat cow. Good, inhale and lengthen for a nice long spine, chin up, tailbone up. When you're ready, exhale, tuck, rounding, rounding, rounding. Inhale, ah, feel a broader collarbone on your cow. Exhale for cat. Really open up through those shoulders. You're going on your own breathing rhythm. I'm not going to tell you how fast or slow. Inhale for cat and length. Excuse me. Inhale for cat and lengthen. Exhale for cat and round. Yeah. Oh, I got a nice pop. <laughs> Just want to loosen this up a little bit. Nice. Beautiful. And from here, in that wider position, curl your toes under. Yeah, we're gonna go up into downward dog a little bit earlier than you might be used to. Let your feet go wide as well. And just play with this. Lengthening through the shoulders, pinky finger down as well as all 10. Tailbone up to the sky. Good, and then release it back down to all fours. Come on down to your forearms. Now this is about shoulder opening, so if you want to get crafty with your feet, great, and I'll give you that cue, but you don't have to. Onto the forearms, the idea is the hands go into the prayer and press down with your forearms. And play with this for a minute. As you press down and you round up and separate those shoulder blades, good. And then as you draw those elbows in towards your knees, can you pull those shoulder blades together? Just a little bit more upper thoracic, yeah, upper back, rounding and lengthening with those forearms. Now, 
Pressing those forearms down, hands strong together. You may just stay right there. And, and then think about separating those shoulder blades away from each other. Now, some of you may feel good about curling under a toe and then the next to bring it up into dolphin. We find a lot of tension neck and shoulders, and believe it or not, these poses help us get rid of that tension. I'm not trying to shove back with my hips here. I'm pressing into my forearms with strong palms together. Open up those shoulder blades. That's what this is about. So we have to do the elevated legs. Beautiful. And then let's release this down. And stretch those arms out in front and sit back. Good. Maybe palms up, release some of that tension. Nice. And we'll bring it back up to all fours. Now we're going to start with a nice <laughs> kneeling position. I'm going to suggest you to bring forward with that right foot. And instead of framing it with your hands, let it creep in front of your fingertips and let your hips come down. It's an early lunge. Good. Once you get there, and if you need to use a block or a pillow to support your hands, that's fine. We're going to walk those hands up, and rather than letting those hips sink too far forward, go ahead and draw them back a little bit. Ah, yes. There we go. From here, let's open up those arms just out to shoulder height. If the right knee is forward, eagle arms, right arm under left, and just crisscross. You don't have to do any more than this today. So you've got a nice hip opener going. It's starting with lunges, shoulder opener. Some of you are very advanced and you know your eagle arms. I can already see some of them. Back of hands or double grass. The point here is to open up the back side of your shoulders a little bit more. While you're here, we're going to keep that strong pose with the legs always grounded through your feet, through your legs. Let's release this. And we're going to either clasp or just loop fingers together to inhale and open up that chest. And then let's go to the other side. Things to think about with your gaze. Looking up to the sky is not always required. <laughs> In fact, we'll do a nice little twist here in a minute where gazing at the ground is actually going to help you with your balance. So if you're just holding on for balance and trying to find breath, please don't feel like it has to be really big. Beautiful. Let's release and we'll bring this in. And now we're going to, yeah, bring back the right leg and let's let that left foot inch forward. And again, instead of framing it with your hands, let it wiggle a little bit in front. Never said the hips had to go really low. Just want you into a nice kneeling position and check in that you're not too far forward, the knees to be over the ankle or behind. Maybe draw it back a little bit. Left foot is in front. Let's inhale, float up those arms. Left arm goes under right. Hands to shoulders is completely good. If you want to go into eagle arms and double cross, you're welcome to. Whichever pose you've chosen, you might think about lifting those elbows just a little bit. And notice what happens. Legs get strong, abdominals, and your, all of your 13 core muscles engage and recruit. Good, and let's release those arms. Clasp behind or just interloop those fingers. Let's see what you can do to open up the chest this direction. And again, you're going to find a theme today. So much hunching over. I think I have Zoom fatigue, actually. It's becoming a real thing. <laughs> Not with you guys. It's all the other stuff. Oh, my goodness. And let's release. Okay, we'll bring back that left foot. And I'm just going to move so you can see me. I'm going to stretch out with the right leg. Ha, ha, ha. Yep, here it is. Stretching out to the side with the right leg. Use your inner foot for balance. Just checking in with that right hip. If it's nice and high, 
it might be tight looking for more parallel hips towards the floor but that's okay yes i see a couple of you are already in gate pose go ahead walk it up big inhale and exhale over towards that right side left arm reaching high finding that gate pose perfect breathing 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 and we'll leave the feet anchored big inhale and exhale over to the other side now you're on the left for a crescent pose opening first you can tell there's a lot of core activation today if you want to make it bigger and find your half star that's okay or modified half moon whatever you want to call it i'll just stay here for the stretch let's release this forward break it in left leg goes out to the side use that inner edge of your foot good and just check we want to get an inner thigh stretch here on the left so is that left hip high or can you draw it down just a little bit ah using that beautiful dial out with the hands uh-huh <laughs> i know not everybody likes this but it's essential <laughs> walk it on up if you're ready for gate and you're not there yet you'll inhale exhale with a side fold as you side fold let this come from your strong trunk first yes relax your shoulder down into the body energy through your fingertips good inhale exhale over to the opposite right side let the feet stay down that left foot will anchor you into a beautiful crescent pose find your deep breath Remember how big that breath got at the beginning? Find it. Beautiful, let's walk it forward. You're into all fours again. We're gonna bring that right foot forward. Let me go on the diagonal here. And ease into that little bit of a bigger lunge than you, <laughs> like you had before, and there you go. And we'll walk this up. Now, as we go into a twist, I'm gonna suggest that your focal point today is that right big toe let's let that for the left forearm rest focus on that big toe and bring those hands into namaste here's where we're going is you can get into a namaste twist without having to overdo with that left elbow across the thigh and this is completely good and maybe you can lift up that right elbow now, if you've already discovered that you want your left elbow across the thigh and keep lifting your right elbow, great. Focus down and make this a little bit easier. I want you to make sure that you're balanced and you're really getting a full twist through the torso rather than trying to perform this just with shoulders. Let's release. We'll bring that right leg back. Step forward with the left. Excellent. And I do like these a little, little bit in front. I'm not really framing my hands or framing the foot with my hands. It's actually a little in front of my hands. And then bring your hips back so it's not so big. Good. Focus forward. Right forearm resting. Check that that left knee isn't drifting inward. Hands in namaste. Just a different approach. We want you to explore all of your, pro your poses as you approach them fresh each time. Let's lift that left elbow and maybe even continue to focus down. If you've discovered, oh, that right elbow across the thigh actually feels pretty good, continue to lift your left elbow and feel free to focus on your left big toe. Different approaches help us keep our poses fresh and your body actively exploring each pose new each day which is a safe thing to do let's release all right come on back to all fours hands under shoulders knees under hips it's going to downward dog pull those toes under inhale exhale lift those hips up high walk through those feet oh my goodness you actually have some energy through those feet you've already done some of this Great. So while you're here, lift those hips up nice and high. 
Really find your downward dog now. And remember when we talked about shoulder blades, spreading them or squeezing them. In this case, pull your shoulder blades down into your hips. Long neck. Good. Now soften your knees. We're going to gaze forward. Walk your feet to the front and relax into your forward fold. Good. Let your head go heavy. Shake it a little bit. Back and forth. No, no, no. And then how about yes, yes, yes. Affirmative. You are here and you are doing it. Nice. Let's tuck under that tailbone. You know, slowly roll it up. Let your spine stack. Finding your strong mountain pose at the base of your mat. Find your breath. Now notice we used a little extra time rolling things out and lunging. So we'll do a few fewer standing poses, but I promise you they're going to be meaningful. So I'm going to leave my right foot forward. I'm going to step back with my left. And for today, I'm going to suggest that we go into a crescent stance. So for today, the right foot is forward. The left toes are forward. Pick up that left heel and sink both knees down. Okay, sink both knees down and your hips are squared towards the front, towards that right leg. Inhale, there you go. Inhale, float up those arms just to shoulder height. Uh, as you exhale, we're gonna twist away towards your right. We're gonna exhale and twist. Keeping your focal point towards the front if you feel safer there. And if you feel good, you've already changed your focal point over that back right shoulder, it's gonna get bigger. Notice the stability challenge. Notice the recruitment through your core, strengthening through your feet. Open up your chest and breathe. Oh, so gorgeous. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, set down that back left foot. Just set that heel down, let it be normal. Chances are that toe opened up a little bit, yes? Let's go to reverse warrior. Still in that front right leg. You're gonna scoop up with the right arm. Reverse this to the left, reaching to the sky. Nice tight recruitment through the belly. And if it feels better with that left arm, put it behind that low back. This is about, I love the name Dancing Warrior. I've heard it called both. Reverse, dancing, let's go with dancing. Absolutely. Now, keep your feet where they are. Nice strong right leg. Let's release that left arm. Inhale and twist around into your warrior one. Breathing, reaching in both directions and again evolving. Feel the twist from that left pinky toe all the way up that left arm. Squaring that towards that front right leg. You got it. And you're thinking, geez Becky, what happened to warrior two? Several deep breaths, relaxing your shoulders. You've got this. There it is. Big inhale and exhale. Soften those arms out at the shoulder height. Reaching away, and there's warrior two. You've got it. Reach those fingertips away from each other. You've got a strong right leg. Opening now through your chest, through your belly, through your hips. Inhale, exhale, and release the leg, release the feet. And we're gonna turn both feet forward and then out a little bit for star. Uh-huh, we did this a few weeks ago, remember? So if you need to hold on to something, be close. From here, we're gonna inhale and open, lift, and the heels come up as well. And see what you can do to rise up with chest, rise up with gaze, up on those toes. Yes, yes, yes. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And release. Oh, so well done. Nice. So we're going to go to the left side now. Just swivel. There you go. So my left knee is getting ready. I'm going to bring in my right toes. And both sets of toes are facing now that left side. Pick up that back right heel. There you go. Big inhale, arms lifting up, bending down and sinking into that left leg. 
Perfect, now that you've got that. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna twist away, twist towards your left. And if it feels good, change your gaze, bring it with. Otherwise, just gaze forward, hold your focal point on your dristy. If it feels good enough, you can look to the rear. Ah, such a great twist. Find your deep breath. Please don't move into pain. Let's inhale, bring those arms back into that T position. And exhale, set down this back right foot. When you set the heel down, chances are it's gonna open. Going to reverse warrior, you're gonna scoop up with the left, reach the rear with the right, and reverse or dancing warrior. Still got that strong left leg, yes? Does the right arm wanna go behind that low back? Just remember to cue in that strong belly to spine connection. You can do that and still breathe effectively above it. Find the heat of these poses, that energy. Engage where it's comfortable for your neck. Relax your shoulders down. Good. Go right into warrior one. Release this right arm. Inhale and sweep it up. And exhale, continue into that twist. So you're twisting now from your right pinky toe all the way up through those fingers at the top. Relax your shoulders down. Ooh, that is so gorgeous. Energy, energy, feeling the resistance, feel the pose, breathe with it. Nice. And yeah, it's about the time you thought, where is warrior two? All right. Inhale, reach those arms and exhale. Sweep them out to shoulder height. You still have this strong left leg. Reaching those fingertips away from each other. Gaze forward over your left arm. And remember, it's shoulders over hips. There's nothing assertive about these poses. There we go. Warrior two. Breathing, breathing. Nice. And let's release this. Inhale, exhale. Release the leg, release the arms, bring it back. Feet are wide, and this time instead of going out with your toes, try to make them parallel. Clasping behind, you can do that ring the ring, clasp, wrist, elbow, namaste. Whatever works for you, more shoulder and chest. Big inhale, and nice and slow. Exhale, hinging forward at the hip, angry with your Feet through your heels, lift your tailbone slowly, and look through your legs rather than at the floor. Let your head dangle as much bend in your knees as you need. Relaxing the tension behind your legs, but not letting them lock out. Always a micro bend. And wherever those arms need to be, if you want to relax them on your low back, you're going to bend those knees a little bit from left to right. You're a slow motion speed skater today. Nice and easy from left to right. Maybe dip a shoulder left to right. Slow motion. Keep those knees bent, heel toe walking if you need to, relax your arms. Get your tailbone underneath you and roll yourself up. Come on up nice and slow. Are you warmed up? Good, perfect. Little bit of balance. You want to find something to hold on to. We're going to go from tree into stork. Tree pose is not to be underestimated. I always love it, especially this time of year. Go stand up against a tree. It's a beautiful thing. They move and sway too. So here we go. Ground in with your right foot. Let's put the energy into those palms. This helps you balance. Kick stand with your left foot. You know what? You've already shifted your weight to the right. This is a balance pose. Talking to my good friend Terry this weekend. It's hard some days to balance. So you don't have to add on. If you want to make it bigger by sliding out that left foot, branches, low, medium, high, or namaste to the sky, 
It's completely up to you. I do want you to find balance. So not, nothing is more important than just finding balance on that right leg. If you care to add on, the hands come back into heart center, find your focal point, nice strong windows, and you're gonna twist, nice and slow. And as the knee comes across, your elbows go away. You move in odd position. This is for my golfing friends. Yes, super strengthener for the core. I know, oh, try that one in the shower. Let's bring it back to the center and really sit down. I think that was absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go to the other side before we lose the momentum here. Press in with that left foot, hands for energy, dynamic tension there, and extend the right foot. And then you decide. Just being on that left leg is plenty, yes? Of course it is. Above all else, find breath, find balance. And this is a little tippy toe touching, completely fine. If you choose to add on, we bring those hands back down, keep an eye on your just your focal point, and maybe start with leg first, giving it a little twist, maybe adding, yeah, upper body twist, or not. Please don't feel obligated. Yeah, and I love it when you find your edge. It's okay to find your edge and fall <laughs> safely. Just, you know, say no quick exits, just a slow exit. All right, let's release, come back to center, and release it down. Perfect, come on back to your mat. Come on back to your space. Let's take a big breath. Inhale, exhale, and forward fold. Swan dive or other. Once you are there, we'll bend that one knee. Let your head dangle. The other leg is long without locking. And then switch. Then the other knee and long leg. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's come on down to the mat. Let the body cool for a few moments. Find a child's pose or something restful. Palms up, forehead, resting on something. If it feels better, just stretch those arms forward. Please do. You can fold up your towel or stack your fists. You want your head to rest. And let those shoulders open. Spread out those wings and find that big breath. Don't worry, hips can be high or low, it doesn't matter. Excellent. Bring it up onto your abdomen, onto your mat. Good, one ear down, and the palms up. And a neck stretch right here. We're gonna do a little bit more of a neck stretch in a moment. If this bothers you, hi Betty. If this bothers you, use your towel or your forearm so you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. That is not our goal. Should be restful and cooling. And let's switch the other ear on the mat. We want at least a few, three, three, four breaths. Let those shoulders drape open. And again, if you need a pillow, use it. Good. And chin on the mat. First we'll do the spinal extension. So we'll go to Cobra and King Cobra. Zip up your legs first. Please create a strong base. Legs together, toenails down, belly button in. Now hands are underneath your shoulders. If you want it bigger, cover those hands. When you're ready, just inhale and lengthen. And as you lengthen this spine, Feel the energy out the top of your head. Feel the contraction of those beautiful long muscles up and down your spine. You rolled them out earlier. We're getting nice and strong now. And it's not about lifting your nose. Just neck and neutral. Hands can go down at any time. If you want your king cobra, go ahead. Press through and continue to lift. 
chest up and hips down. Ooh, I can feel how tight I am. Yeah. And let's release. While you're here, push yourself up and back. Find this child's pose. Do a counter pose before we go move on. Want to make sure spinal extension is met with spinal flexion. Good. Come on back down. <laughs> Good, from here, you got your chin down. I'm gonna stretch my left arm out to the side. My right elbow stays bent. Yes, left arm out. Right elbow bent, right knee bent. Now you know where we're going. Some of, some of call this like an eight point shoulder opener and there are at least eight points, so be careful. You're gonna lift up gently with that right leg and lift up and over the left leg. Go slow. Because it's not just an eight point shoulder opener, right? It's a whole bunch. Now, if that right toe lands in your left hand, give it to it. But don't go reaching for it. Some of you are gonna be able to open up with this right arm as well and actually clasp those hands behind. I'm not so sure that I wanna do this with everybody when I can't see you for sure. <laughs> So I want you to just feel that opening here, right hip, and then on the underside, this shoulder is so good for neck stretching as well. Let's release it down. Good, now we're gonna switch. Chin on the mat, right arm out, left elbow bent, left knee bent. And inhale, exhale, up and over nice and slowly. Please don't go too quickly. Opening up, left hip flexors. You decide if you want to open up with that left arm. This right arm down below. You're getting some very important tight muscles like your friend Pam. She knows about my personal tight muscles. Uh -huh. This is a really good one. And believe it or not, it helps relieve neck tension and shoulder pain. Let's release this down. One more time, push yourself up and back and find this child's pose. Beautiful. I'm so impressed. Come on down and have a seat. Bring your towel, strap, scarf, belt with you. Yes, we're gonna roll this down nice and easy. Ah. You got it. Both knees are bent to start this. We're going to take that towel or strap or scarf around the bottom of the right foot, okay? Right foot up in the sky, left knee is bent. And as you do this, I'm actually rolling my towel a little bit so I can get a grip. What I want you to do, first of all, is don't go past where you find the pose beginning, right? Where you find that stra stretch. Just meet it with breath. Walk those hands down so your arms are long. Good. And while you are finding your hamstrings here, I'm sure they're talking to you. You can make a choice. This bottom left knee can stay bent. Lots easier on your back. You can also slide it out like we did in the beginning. Your choice bottom leg longer will be a bigger stretch. So we're not really doing anything much more than encouraging big breath as you feel the edge of this pose behind the backs of your legs. Yes, you feel the hamstring, you're gonna feel it come up behind the glute. Maybe and into your low back, nothing into pain, right? Good. Now while you're here with the right leg up in the sky, I'm gonna change things on you today. Just go ahead and grasp both ends with the right hand and take your left thumb, put your left thumb in your left hip crease. Here's the deal. Your left hip is not gonna open today. As you inhale and exhale, let that right leg just drift out only a couple inches. It's going outside, inner thigh stretch. 
only a couple inches because we don't want the left hip to come up. And you should be able to feel the pelvic muscles, right, on the left side engaging to hold you strong and down, and then allowing inner thigh and the right to release. Often we try to make this so big, right? Good, and from here, hand it over to your left, put that right arm out to a T. And we'll go across body now. If it feels good, put that right thumb in to that hip crease. Do the same thing, because I don't want your hips to come up. No, no, no. Active energy across, but also active energy from the back side of the pelvis into the floor. Yeah, that gets into some deep tissues, deep tissues right underneath all those surface muscles. All right, let's release and bring them. Okay, now let's undo this and for a moment just slide out that right leg and let your body go heavy for a second. I didn't forget the other side. I just want you to feel for a moment the difference between your right side and your left side. Feel that brain. Yes. All right, let's bend both knees. Bring those feet in. This towel or strap goes around the bottom of the left foot. And before we get too, too far into super achieving here, we just want to meet that first awareness of this stretch with breath. Back. I will tell you right where you need to be, working those hands down so your arms are long, and let those shoulders roll into the mat. And then a choice, bottom right knee bent is easier, bottom right leg lengthening is gonna be a little bit bigger. You choose. I do, gen I do recommend gently flexing both feet. Good. Find your breath. Nice big inhale, right? Belly, ribs, and chest, and exhaling, chest, ribs, and belly. Let's hand the edge of the ends over to the right, excuse me, to the left, same as the leg gets up in the air. Take your right thumb into your right hip crease, and without the pelvis rocking, let the left leg just drift outside a couple of inches. It doesn't have to be big. Good. The thumb is there as a cue, a reminder. You don't have to keep it there. If you'd like it counterbalanced, you can. So deep breathing. Good. And he'll exhale. Hand those ends of your towel over to your right. The left arm can go out to the side or left thumb in that hip crease because when we come across body with that leg, please don't, today, just for today, don't let the hip come up. Don't let the pelvic tilt happen. Yeah, I find like I'm, I'm losing my words because I find my hip wanting to, ro to roll over there. Of course I do, I wanna cheat. Think about pressing both sides, the back side of your pelvis, into the mat. Uh-huh. And feel that beautiful stretch. So it's not only through the hamstrings, right? It's down into the hip. And that's your place. Take that towel away. And we're going to bring those knees up. Find a little egg beater here. Feet down for bridge. And then we'll go to Shavasana. And another, just a different way to get into your bridge. Go ahead before you go anywhere. Just inch those shoulders together underneath. Plant your feet. And then inhale, exhale, till that pelvis and roll up nice and easy. Feel that you already have a strong shoulder and foot platform. I've got my palms open because that feels better. And then you can continue to get those shoulders underneath. Offloading any pressure on your throat or your neck. Beautiful. Hips opening, belly opening, feet planted. And you'll exhale and release it down. Go through one vertebrae at a time. 
and one more hug. Good, rock the side to side. And it is time for your Shavasana. It is time for you to find your pose of relaxation. And you may want to do what we did earlier with the roll. Or some of you, I don't know about you, but I always get really tight to my low back. So I'm gonna put a little cushion under the backs of my thighs there with my towel or a pillow. Settle onto your mat, let your body go heavy. Shake away any little kinks. And I will keep track of this clock. We're gonna move into two minutes of silence. And as you go there, feel that heaviness through your legs. With that opening across your belly. Some knees across your chest. Uh, relaxation, your shoulders, all the way down your arms to your fingertips. Your head heavy into the the mat and breathe. Inhale one, two. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale four, three, two, one. Empty. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, empty. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Empty. Notice your breath, how effortless, how healing this breath is. Notice your ease around your heart, open, compassionate. You have love for yourself and plenty of love for those to share with those around you. Clarity in your mind. You know what's important and how to take care of yourself. Gently wiggling those fingers and toes. Coming back to the present moment. With another breath, maybe you lift those arms up overhead and exhale and give yourself a hug. Give yourself gratitude for being here today. And if you want to bring a knee to chest or two, continue that hug. 
whatever's comfortable, you can stay right there. We're gonna close our practice. You can also roll to a side or come up to a seated position. Whatever works for you. I honor that place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor that place in you which is a light of love and peace and truth. And when you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, then we are one. Namaste. Always let your head follow your heart. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today and for giving yourself this practice. This beautiful energy that you've created, I know there are others in your world who will benefit. So take it with you today. And I can't wait to see you again. I'm not sure when that will be. Stay tuned for our schedule. I know that there are dozens and dozens of people working behind the scenes so that we can continue to see each other virtually and hopefully soon in person. Just stay tuned on our website and our YouTubes. And I hope to see you again. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I can see in the chat. So if you've got comments on some of the variety we did today, yes or no, let me know and I'll read the chats now. Have a beautiful, beautiful Monday evening. You guys are awesome. The very best ever you are. Oh, you're gonna write me all kinds of notes. Thank you, I miss you too. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Um, I've been had a chance to practice some different classes myself and that counted breathing gives me something to think about because I can go in a lot of different places these days and you are the most beautiful souls I know and I miss you too. Um, hopefully we'll be able to bring back Pilates. That's kind of our goal. Um, there's a lot of classes we all want to be teaching and we're working really hard to make that happen. So thank you. Love you guys. Take good care.